Big Oil just got a tough message on safety. The days of gambling in the Gulf are over. One epic spill was enough. Somebody can drill only when they satisfy the government that they have a process in place to deal with a worst case scenario. For companies that do, by year's end, drilling could resume on some of the Gulf's 36 deep water rigs. Independent engineers must certify every rig's blowout preventer, the well's emergency cutoff, and each stage of the drilling process. There are new standards for cementing wells, and the CEO of the company responsible for the well is accountable, has to certify it meets all requirements. Marvin Odom's president of Shell Oil. Half of its six deep water rigs in the Gulf need work to meet the new requirements. We should think of it as a safer system overall, and we should get back to work. In Louisiana, Todd Hornbeck wants his supply ships back at work, but has a new worry. It's impossible to know when we're ever going to get a permit, and I fear that that process will be, could be drug out for a very long time. And too late for some of the estimated 12,000 oil and gas jobs lost during the moratorium. It feels like the failure of the American dream. Brian Lambert just put up his home for sale, an out-of-work shallow water driller in deep financial trouble. My worries are that it will take years for us to get back on our feet again. But environmentalists are worried. The BP investigation has yet to close, and the Gulf is back open for business.